What is going on between Steph London and Nicki Minaj and why are these two female rappers beefing for? Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today on this fine afternoon. I thought I would do a particular kind of a mini documentary to reveal and outlay the time scale of the beef and the tension growing between both rappers, the infamous obviously Nicki Minaj and the up and coming Stefan Doi. Now, these two have been on the rocks, especially for the past year and things and friction are slowly, slowly increasing especially with the likes of Miss Banks and so forth entering the scene and you know taking sides and obviously Steph has clearly taken Cardi's side but this really took place uh, a year ago around October 2018 um, less than a year ago to be honest and I thought I would just simply touch on it and just outlay and talk about it and see what your guys thoughts are if you have taken a side between these two and what you guys think of this ongoing tension between the two and if it's good for up and coming rappers like Steph on Don. So obviously Stefan has just, she jumped into the Nicki Minaj and Cardi beef and she obviously picked a side and she appeared to be on team Cardi B. She obviously um, responded to Nicki Minaj's comment on a post by American blog The Shade Room. Obviously we all know about the ongoing beef between Nicki and Cardi which took place online and Stefan obviously decided to input herself into the beef where she responded to Nicki Minaj's comments on a post where you know obviously we all know the shade room where Nicki Minaj says stop trying to distract everyone about the fact that you lied about Ra beating your head in we all get deals and tandem down etc etc to which Steph London herself got involved and said you are a big grown woman talking about beating someone's head head in Queen I'm disappointed in you so many people look up to you show us better now obviously this led to heavy heavy backlash from Nicki Minaj's fans on Instagram who literally flooded the comments on all her posts and at this point of time, Steph Don just did not care about it. She had no regrets and she stood by what she had said. And she said, these people are crazy, the way I love to slap one of them. Steph says what the F Steph wants to say. Do I look like a puppet? Bitches want to act like day 10 and yes, I will say something about it. Yes, I said I'm disappointed in her because the girl is old enough to be someone's grandmother and I hate a hating black hated hearted person because I know what it's like to not have much then finally get it. People would love to see it all taken away. She couldn't just say, got something coming for these dirty garbs, I mean barbs. It's called an opinion. You don't need to lick someone's batty and agree with everything they do or say. Wrong is wrong and right is right. I speak my mind because I can do just like you're about to, just like you're about to have three minutes. And you think I should be scared to voice my opinion? The day I'm scared to do that is the day I should quit and go sit in a corner with a paper on my forehead saying, idiot girl. Celebrity or no celebrity, I'm human first and I will say what I want to come to. To, to stop me. Now obviously Stefan Don is entitled to her opinion but the question is is this logical and obviously you know there are obviously two sides to every situation and by taking Cardi B's side we've also known that she's obviously quite a bit of a colorist from the comments she's making and the crime that she's committed in the past so at this point of time this obviously is quite tricky. This obviously is a bit interesting because Stefan Don has been you know flirting away with Drake online back in the day, now she's dating Burner Boy, but at the point it was a bit like, you know, Nicki Minaj is very good friends with Drake and now we have this particular person who has come for Nicki Minaj and is now consciously even flirting with Drake, Nicki's good friend, a couple of days afterwards. Now since then there has been obviously friction between rappers, friction between the kind of female rap game, crossing over the pond from both the UK and the US, where we obviously have Miss Banks expressing that she obviously takes Nicki Minaj's side and we've obviously had, um, Steph London, who has expressed in these posts that she's obviously in Cardi B's side, so that in itself causes friction for female rappers here, it prevents them from obviously interacting with each other and you know, being on good terms, because you're always going to have that kind of friction. Now, do you agree with Steph London and do you feel like she was being a bit immature? Because I feel like this particular beef is something that I wanted to highlight and talk about simply because it is slowly growing and growing and growing, and I thought I would just explain it between these two because really and truly I feel like it's unnecessary, I don't feel like it was logical for Steph London to get involved, but however, she is right to the extent that everybody is entitled to their opinion and everybody is entitled to express it or not express it if they want to. Let me know what your thoughts are on this growing beef between these two artists. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? And you know, what side are you on? And comment down below. This friction between these two that started around late last year is now obviously growing slowly and slowly. And we have, you know, Stefan Don throwing her jabs and so forth. She's obviously doing great and well in the UK scene and is very up and coming. And probably one of the biggest rappers from the UK current date right now. I don't think anybody else is putting out only just many tracks. But let me know what you guys think and I'll definitely catch you guys soon.